Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. This is the last episode of the entire series because I am going to fight the last boss, Lord Gwyn. And hopefully we're going to beat him. Well actually that's not completely true and I'm not being completely fair. I'm. This is completely post commentary so I know that I'm going to beat him. <laughs> you would not be seeing this video if I hadn't. I would probably still be raging at my screen, throwing my controller around and yelling very loudly. As you would have seen if you were in my house while I was trying to fight Lord Gwyn. Uh, you're going to see me look really good in this video and just completely wreck everybody. This, what you have to know about it though, is that this is, pr I think, my 20th or so attempt at beating Gwyn. It took me a long time to get the hang of it. And it was a pretty pathetic showing, to be honest. So despite the fact that the final result looks really good, I'm not going to give myself that much credit. I don't think it's fair. Now, the first couple times I beat this game, I think I maybe knocked out Gwyn in like my third, fourth attempt. Uh, but I, in, in my defense, I was a lot better at the game then. Um, while I was doing this, you know, Dark Souls recording, I basically did it in, in small chunks. I would play a little bit and then I'd, you know, upload the videos and I'd play a little bit and then I'd upload the videos. And so... I ended up not being as, as polished at the game by the time I got to the end as I usually am because I wasn't playing constantly. Uh, so it took me a little while to get used to the parrying system and getting really precise with my parry so I could actually beat Lord Gwyn. Uh, so you're going to see me do fairly well against him in this fight, but don't be fooled. This is one of the toughest bosses in the entire game. Uh, just basically because of the precision involved in, in order to beat him. You have to be perfect. Uh, now these black knights are pretty cool. I usually take them all out. Well, actually, you have to take them all out, but I usually take them all out a bunch of times uh, before I even fight the boss because they they have a high drop rate for tight knight chunks of every color, in addition to their own weapons, which are some of the best weapons in the game. Uh, so if you're looking for a good weapon and you don't have a Zweehander or something cool like that, feel free to grab like the black knight great axe or the black knight halberd because those do a ton of damage and they're great for their their respective builds. And these guys at the end here drop them. So, you know, just keep that in mind. If you're trying to get, you know, farm weapons, it's pretty easy to do so. Now, in terms of my inventory, uh, I have Havel's gear on because, you know, as you can probably tell, because uh, this guy does a lot of damage, and it's really about being precise with your parries, so dodging is kind of useless against Gwyn. So I don't really need the mobility. All I need is the ability to take damage. So I just grabbed the, the most tanky set I, could, I, could, I had in my inventory. Uh, now, I have Havel's ring on in order to offset the fact that I am wearing ridiculously heavy armor and can still roll. And I am, you know, still rocking the Ring of Divine Favor and Protection. I also have Mask of the Mother to increase my health. Uh, as for my sword, I have a Lightning Zweehander plus 5 instead of plus 2 like you probably expect. That's because I've died, I've killed so many of these knights while dying to win that I've actually managed to level it up. So anyway, I'm going to use my newly leveled up Zweehander to fight Gwyn here. And he doesn't look nearly as imposing as you might expect for a last boss, but he does look really cool. And he has three main attacks. That little pick up, grapple, throw thing is one of them, in addition to that lunge attack. And as you can see, I've take, I made like one mistake and I'm already almost dead. Uh, so basically, the, the point of this fight is to keep your cool. Despite the fact that I was within a tiny, tiny bit of dying there, I managed to parry him. And that is exactly what you have to do. When he does a little, the little sword combo, when he does his uh, so regular sword attacks, you have to parry them and then repost. You keep doing that, and you will beat him in no, you know, no problem. But you have to be perfect. If you start messing up, he'll start doing combos on you. And if he starts doing combos on you, you will die really quickly. He does a lot of damage, and the only reason that I am taking as little as I am is because, as I said, I am wearing the most armor I can and have the most health that I can, just to try to withstand a few errors. And now I am just going to town on Gwyn here. So he's going to make a short work of him. But that's because I know this fight really well. When he does that kick thing, it's really important that you recover. That was one of the trickiest sections of the entire fight, and I easily could have died there as well. And that should just about do it. And there you go. About ten parries later, and I have defeated Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. I think that deserves a well-placed, well, what is it? So, I'll grab my blood stain, even though it's kind of useless at this point. And I got 70,000 souls for killing Gwyn, also fairly useless. 
Um, and I have a choice. I can either go out the door, in which case I become the new Dark Lord, or I can light the fire. And since my, my path has been, you know, pretty much all framped on this run, I'm going to do what Framped says and light the fire, especially considering I think that cutscene is probably the coolest. Uh, and that's basically going to do it. You know? Hooray! I beat Dark Souls! Everyone should be excited. Or at least I'm excited because I get to, uh, you know, finally say I've completed an entire game's worth of NLP. It's a big day for me. So anyway, I'll let you enjoy this cutscene here. As I try to do the right thing. And burn up and die. So I have linked the fires and prolonged the age of the gods. So there you go. Uh, now anyway, at this point in the game, they just show the credits. And after the credits, uh, it's straight into New Game Plus. It doesn't even give you a moment to rest. So uh, basically, that is it for Dark Souls. I hope you guys enjoyed the LP. I'll be back next week with a new one. And, you know, keep watching and, you know, thank you to everybody who has. I'd also like to say a quick thank you to my friends, Chris and Ryan, otherwise known as Hyrule Cheese it and the Hawk 36 Because, you know what, without the fact that they were supporting and without the fact that they were doing it too, it would have been tough to, you know, continue my inspiration to continue making these. So, thank you to you guys. It is completely on you. You know, you guys, you guys kept me going. Uh, and... You know, other than that, I'm going to let you guys just watch these great credits because all of these terrific people made a great game, and I think that they deserve that credit. So I'm going to leave the credits rolling, but I am going to sign out until Mass Effect 2 on Monday. I'll see you guys later. Thank you.